Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm gonna show you the six snowboard accessories I bring up with me on the mountain every time I ride. Um, whenever I forget one of these things, it always causes some type of problem for me. So if you can add a few of these things to your gear collection, I think it would help make your day run a bit smoother. So the first thing that I always bring up is a snowboard tool. This is the Burton Bullet tool, and I've literally used this hundreds of times for tightening bindings on the mountain. I don't know if you've ever gotten to the bottom of a run and you notice your binding is loose and then you have to like find a tool station or ask somebody for a tool. Um, so having your own tool like really comes in handy and if it's not your own binding that comes loose then it's one of your friends so you can help them out with this. Also if you're an instructor or a snowboard coach then somebody in your class is gonna have a loose binding or they're gonna need their bindings completely changed around and a new setup. So having this will save your group a lot of time as well. So the second thing I always bring up with me is a spare lens for my goggles. So the weather's always changing, especially in the mountains. So it could be sunny and then the next minute the clouds are rolling in. So it's really easy just to put a spare lens um, into your pocket that's safe somewhere. And then when you need it, you can pull it out. I, know, I can think of a few times that I've been riding with friends um, on like a sunny powder day, then all of a sudden the clouds roll in and then you can't see the contours of the snow and which kind of like ruins the fun when you can't see exactly where you're going. So that extra lens can really save your day. The third thing that I always bring up is a lock for my snowboard. I have a ski key which just locks my board to the ski rack. Um, you can also get like a cable lock for your board. In the 10 plus years I've been riding in Whistler, I've only had my snowboard stolen once and that cost me $600 to replace. So if I had a lock on that day, it would have saved me like the time and hassle and a lot of money. So definitely worth it. And it's small, so you can just throw it in a pocket and forget about it. And if you go into the chalet for lunch, you don't have to worry about your board and just like gives you that peace of mind. The fourth thing that I always bring up is a balaclava or some type of face mask. Um, I hate when I'm riding and my neck is all exposed and cold and snow's getting in there. So a balaclava will just keep your neck warm, keep the snow out. Um, if it's a sunny day and it's warmer, then I have a lighter one of these that just like protects my skin from the sun. And uh, yeah, it's just for like a comfortable day of riding. And I don't ride around all day breathing into this thing either. I just kind of pull it down so that I have a free airway. Okay, so the next thing I always bring up, and this is for filming or taking pictures, is a couple extra batteries. If you're up on the mountain with your GoPro and, it's a, and if it's cold outside, the battery may, might only last for like 15 minutes. So a couple extra batteries will really come in handy. Even if you're using a smartphone, bring up the charger and then you can just plug it in in the chalet. And then you're not gonna miss any photos or videos of you know, cool stuff you might be doing that day. So the last accessory and something I'm gonna start bringing up from now on are a pair of smart gloves. I don't know if you've ever tried to use a touchscreen with a pair of gloves, uh, but it doesn't work. Uh, the touchscreen works by picking up on the electrical field from your fingers, and with the gloves it just blocks that electrical, electrical current. So with the smart gloves they have a material that's conductive, so it conducts the electricity from your fingers uh, to the touchscreen. This is going to save you for if you want to change the music on your phone or you know, doing a text message or if you're operating like an app for your GoPro or something like that. So these can really like save your fingers from freezing and trying to use your phone. And they're really cheap as well, they're only five bucks. So I hope that you guys can add a few of these accessories to your gear collection. I find all of these like super helpful. They just make my day of riding a lot more enjoyable and you know, keep me from running into any problems. So have fun out there riding guys. Um, if there's something I missed that you always bring up, it'd be awesome to hear about in the comments. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.